Alright, welcome back to the rest of the story. I'm in the 7600. I got the 4155 Rhino behind me. Doing some trimming. Pushing back some of the weeds that are starting to get a little carried away. And I had some ground. Actually, it's just what used to be part of a pasture and some waterways on one of our satellite farms that I wanted to address before it really started to grow up because it's level enough that I think I can, I know I can make a cut or two of, of grass or hay or whatever you want to call it off of it. So I went out and I got that done. It took me a little longer than I thought, mainly because there's more there than I thought there was. But we're going through, I gotta go around about two thirds of this place, which I can pretty well do non-stop, I think. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all the residue off the top of this mower and then get it back back down into my machine shed. All of us are out doing something today. We even got the intern working. So dad's chisel plowing. Ryan's working down some corn ground that's been continuous no-till corn. And I was out late last night chisel plowing. And I was definitely noticing any of the corn that we had hit with that chopping corn head because we weren't able to do anything last fall. It has a mat of residue on it. And I was going through that was a good one. Um, I was going through chiseling last night and it was a uh, night and day difference going over the ground that had corn on it last year that was hit with that chopping head and um, ground that had been a little bit more exposed oh, ground that we actually went and made round bales off of like the surface was a little bit better exposed and it was a lot drier pulled a lot nicer and it wasn't near as muddy this strip I'm on right now, I got ditches. Everybody has ditches. I don't, for the amount of weather, the kind of weather we had last year, it's hard to really get on anybody's case about ditches. But this is gonna be seated down. The reason I like it being seated down is because this fence line is absolutely terrible. I mean, we're about 25 feet from the fence and there's a lot of dead trees and all that laying on it so if it's exposed like this I can get down here and work with the skid steer and that Bernig grapple bucket as I like to call it my multi-purpose or my multi-use bucket and I'm gonna try to push back some of this brush I'm not downplaying the fact that it just flat out needs a bulldozer I mean pull out as much of the fence as we can there's parts of the fence that we just simply cannot get to. It's, this fence has been here as long as I remember, and actually I think I asked Dad uh, about this fence, and he said it's been here as long as he can remember, and Dad's been around for, for 40 years. So I mean, the fence I guess has done its job. But over the years, farmers get busy, I mean, especially when in dairy operation, there's so much going on, it's hard to keep up and keep everything as cleaned up, as cut back, as far as doing pastures and stuff like that. And you got a little bit more time, most of the time, uh, doing beef and, and crops. I mean, I guess I'm not speaking for everybody, because I imagine everybody's got their own schedules. But it gives us a little bit more time in the summer. The cattle are out in the pasture. You're not really all that concerned about them other than going out and making sure they're okay with the four-wheeler. And then, um, 
the field work, cutting hay, and once we get going here, I mean, we're already going, that's just it. We're trying to get as much of our field chores done before we really get carried away doing field work. Uh, we got about 80 acres chiseling done. Uh, they're calling for four to six inches of snow one of these upcoming days here. I haven't been watching the weather. I don't care to watch the weather. Um, all I know is uh, Dad and Ryan were telling me about what it was doing, looking like it was going to do, and the four to six inches of snow is a big question mark as to whether or not it'll be snow or it'll be three inches of rain. Well, all I had to hear was a chance for three inches of rain and I immediately lost all interest in seeding down any of our new seeding. I mean, we're spending enough time as it is, time, energy, and dollar signs, dealing with the ditches from last year that if we can avoid any ditches at all, I mean, we really need to. Um, the grass seed that we have with the current soil moisture, it's the, the ground is cold and wet, and it's a little bit more tacky than I'd like it to be. Uh, we are actually in the field doing, you know, dirt work uh, more earlier than we really have in the past. I think April 12th was a couple years ago, a few years ago, that was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're out here so early. And now I believe I first started chiseling this year, like the 6th, the 6th of April. I mean, whatever day that was that you guys saw me post, well, me post or Brittany post uh, pictures of Relina riding in this tractor. And she's growing like a weed too for everybody that keeps asking. She's going to be a little farmer, at least until she hits 18. If she doesn't want to farm after that, I really don't have any say in it. But I sincerely hope so. Um, that's what everybody was asking. Kind of concerned with me when we had Relina. Um, Everyone was a little leery. I was hoping for a boy, and I'd be disappointed that we had a girl. Uh, I wasn't disappointed at all. I was actually really happy that we just had a healthy baby. So she can work just as hard as as anybody else, I'm sure. And honestly, all my kids are are going to help in the farm to some capacity cattle, getting the cattle back on the farm, at least in my operation. I mean, there's three operations under one roof, and at least as far as my cattle herd is going to be growing here, um, I mean, heifers are going to be kept around, and I'm feeling pretty good there. But for how, my, how nice it looks today, I mean, it was literally sunshine, and then 10 minutes later, it was a snowstorm. Then 20 minutes later, it was sunshine again, and it's Mother Nature needs to get her uh, priorities figured out. If we're out of winter or if we're starting into spring or what. I was wearing coat and overalls because it was literally that cold yesterday. Even just getting in and out of the tractor, uh, checking uh, the hydraulic hose of the tractor, I mean, I got froze quick. The same thing with uh, fueling the tractor up. Uh, that wind was was nasty yesterday. So no, we haven't put any seed in the ground as of the time of me filming this video. Uh, we were talking about doing it in a day or two. The ground that I worked up last night, the new seeding, uh, was wet for the reasons I stated in the beginning of this video. And um, I'm looking to, hopefully we can do something here in a couple days. Really the ground just needed to be opened up and let the air get down to it, help dry it out. I, mean, I really don't wanna put any seeds in the ground ever, like ever, ever again, in cold and wet conditions. And that was pretty much how every single seed we planted last year went in. Last year was a challenge. I mean, this year is shaping up to be pretty much a copy and a paste of the same thing. So, yeah. Um, 
other than that, I don't have any new cabs. I really just want to get this done so I can go back and uh, see what's going on at the farm. Uh, this is a job that I wanted to get done before we really got carried away with tillage yet. And this place, this stuff should be worked in another day or two. All depends on on how we uh, are able to get through it with uh, with, the, with the current forecast. So I need to go around some of these fields with the grapple bucket and the skid steer, bobcat or JCB, and just pick up some tree limbs that have fallen into the fields. I mean, that tree back there I just drove around, that's broken off the base. All I gotta do is just move it. This really is a good practice to do. We really should try to do it more often. It's a lot easier to do it in the fall. I mean, we're usually out grinding up corn stalks as it is. That's a tree. And um, it really doesn't take much more to drive around all the fields and just knock all the weeds and brush back. All right, I, mean, I don't want to make a super long video just because then it just sounds like I'm just talking just for the sake of talking. And I know nobody really wants that. So thanks for tuning in to the rest of the story. Keep tuning in. Uh, planting should be going on here sooner than later. The corn planter is out. I don't know if I should do more shop videos, shed videos on working on that. I'm definitely seeing that nobody really seems to care about anything having to do with working on stuff, so I'm trying to avoid those kind of videos. But until next time, whenever that may be, you guys are watching the rest of the story. Take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys next time.